bit cold today and it looks like it might rain. I could get a bit wet while I'm out plant hunting. The plants don't mind the rain, they need the water to grow. I look out for all different kinds of plants and collect the seeds for Kew's Millennium Seed Bank. I go out all year round in any weather. I love puddles. Good job we have our wellies on. This is great fun! <laughs> well, come on, you two. We're supposed to be helping Fiona today. Yes, we need to help find plants for the Millennium Seed Bank. I read about that in my book. The Millennium Seed Bank is where they keep seeds from all over the world. The seeds come from lots of different plants, and we need to find new ones. We better get started then. Let's go! <laughs> I know how to spot the plant I need, because they all look a little bit different. Sometimes on my travels, I'll even find a plant that I've never seen before. Plants come in all different shapes and sizes, from little ones to great big trees. Even though plants look different, they're all made up of the same parts. Let's go inside and I'll show you what to look out for. Let's take a closer look at this plant. Here we've got a leaf. Here we've got the stem. And the flower. If I take it out of the pot, we can see the roots. We don't normally see the roots when we're out plant hunting but they also differ from plant to plant. Here we've got the root of a parsnip. You might know this, it's a vegetable, so you might have eaten it before. See how different it is from the roots here. The plant takes water up from the soil through the roots, and the roots also help to keep the plant actually in the ground. I've seen lots of pictures of plants with roots, stems and leaves in my books. Have a look around too, Ash. You can see so many different plants here, and they all have these parts. Fiona is picking out different plants to show their roots. Water travels into the plant through the roots, and they also keep the plant in the ground. Yeah. Plants start as tiny seed, and they need water to grow. That's why they like the rain. different some of these plants are. The stem holds the leaves and the flowers and the fruits in place. It also acts as a water pipe. It takes the water from the roots to all the other parts of the plant. This plant has a woody stem. This plant is very different. Its stem is soft and bendy. different leaves. Leaves come in all different shapes and sizes. This plant has long and straight leaves. This is our clover plant. You can see the leaves on this plant are more rounded. It usually comes in threes. But in springtime, if you go out looking for a four-leaved clover, that will bring you good luck. And what happened? This holly leaf is really spiky. Look how different it is to this round one. That's amazing. I have one with wiggly sides from that tree. Let's draw pictures of them and look them up in a plant book when we get home. Good idea. Then we can go and look for four leaf clovers. Whenever I find a plant, I write down what it looks like and where it likes to grow. I know the plants in here don't like the cold. We have to make sure that we give them just the right amount of water. 
so that they grow beautiful flowers and fruits. Some plants need lots of water and other plants need very little. Plants also need air, light and soil. They get nutrients from the soil. Keep a lookout for plants with different stems and leaves at home. You may even see some roots. And make a note of what you see, especially the strange looking ones. And don't forget to help water the plants at home.